assembling a custom photo book cover, tools and materials, poster trimmer, laminator, assembly jig, 4 inch roller, custom cover, binder, custom cover print, photo book pages, plastic book bag, photo gloves. Important. Be sure your work surface, tools, and materials are perfectly clean. Dust, lint, and other debris can damage the laminator and ruin the final product. Assemble a custom photo book. Get the laminator ready. Press the on-off button on the control panel for one second to turn on the device. If the display does not light up, verify the power switch on the back of the laminator is in the on position. Warning, to avoid injury, keep hands, jewelry, clothing, and other objects away from the laminator input slot. Objects placed in the slot are pulled into the machine automatically. If this happens, press and hold the red reverse button to eject the object. Quickly press and release the M1 button. Then check the display. Make sure temp equals 140 degrees Celsius and speed equals 3. If not, press and hold M1 until the numbers on the display flash. Then use the temp and speed up and down arrows to adjust the settings. Press M1 again to exit adjustment mode. The laminator will be ready to use in about 6 minutes. Meanwhile, go to the next step. Prepare the custom cover. Get one custom cover from the assembly kit and turn it so the brown side is facing you. Do not set it down yet. Peel off and discard the two Remove to Insert Picture stickers on the back of the cover. Place the cover white side up on a very clean surface. Prepare to trim the cover photo. Wipe the blue surface of the trimmer thoroughly. Push the sliding cutter to about the middle of the guide rail. Put on photo gloves. Retrieve the custom cover print from the printer and place it image side up on the poster trimmer. Trim the short sides of the custom cover print. Turn the print so the end of the smaller image is facing the trimmer's metal cutting edge. Push the left side of the print against the paper guide. Position the dashed line on the print so that it is just barely over the metal cutting edge. Slide the cutter from right to left to trim off the dashed line. Make sure there are no remnants of dashed lines on the print. Retrim if needed. Trim the opposite end of the print in the same manner. Place the custom cover white side up on the trimmer. One end of the cover has a white flap on the underside. This end must be on your right. Push the other end against the paper guide. Reach under the right side of the cover and unfold the white flap so that it extends to your right. Push the print into the cover underneath the white waxed sheet. The print must be image side up and the side with the larger image must go in first. Push the print all the way in until you feel it hit the end. Hold the print down and pull out the white wax sheet. Place the wax sheet on a clean work surface. Set the custom cover brown side up on top of the wax sheet. Remove your gloves and peel up the white strip next to flap 1 on the back of the cover. Fold flap 1 down onto the adhesive strip. Press down at the center of the flap first and work toward the ends to fully adhere it. Peel off the white strip next to flap 3. Fold in the two corner flaps labeled 2 along the dashed lines, then press flap 3 down into the adhesive strip, working from the center outwards to fully adhere the flap. Roll the cover. Flip the cover face up. Roll over the entire cover, pressing firmly. This ensures a high quality lamination in the next step. Inspect the cover for hairs, dirt, or other debris. Clean off any debris before feeding the cover into the laminator. Make sure the laminator is ready. The word ready must show in the top left corner of the display. This indicates the laminator has reached the set temperature. Also make sure the display shows temperature 140 degrees Celsius and speed 3. Make sure there is at least 24 inches 62 centimeters, of clear space behind the laminator. Feed the cover into the laminator at an angle with the right edge against the angled guide, the brown side facing up and the edge labeled 3 facing forward. 
Let go of the cover when the laminator takes hold of it. Support the cover as it exits the laminator. Crease the cover spine with the assembly jig. Remove and discard the white plastic spine spacer from the brown side of the cover. Fold the cover in half so the two edges opposite the spine meet. Align the edges perfectly. While holding the edges together, pinch the spine into a triangular shape. Slide the spine into the creasing slot of the assembly jig. Do not let the top edges of the cover slip out of alignment as you insert the cover. Open and close the cover three times to set the spine crease. Remove the cover from the slot. Finish creasing the spine using the trimmer. Place the cover on the trimmer with the spine against the paper guide and the back cover facing up. Raise the top cover part way, then push it diagonally down against the paper guide to crease the spine. Pinch all along the spine to fully set the crease. Flip the cover over and repeat the steps. Attach the binder. Place the cover into the tray on the assembly jig with the back cover facing up and the spine on the left. Press down firmly on all four corners of the cover to fully seat it in the tray. Get one book binder from the assembly kit. Do not remove the cardboard from inside the binder yet. Place the binder inside the cover with the page stop tab at the top and the metal clips against the spine. Press down on all four corners of the binder to firmly seat it in the tray. Hold the top cover vertical and push it straight down while you peel off the white liner from the binder. Press down on the spine as you lower the cover onto the exposed adhesive. Firmly press the cover onto the adhesive working from the center outwards. Roll over the cover firmly with the 4 inch roller, working from the center outwards. Flip the cover over and repeat the steps. Bond the binder to the cover. Remove and discard the cardboard sheet from the binder. Slide the cover spine into the creasing slot on the assembly jig and then open the cover so it lays flat. Using the 4 inch roller, roll over the inside of the spine area only, pressing firmly. Important, do not roll over the outer edges of the cover. Doing so might bend the cover. Remove the cover from the jig and place it on a clean work surface. Roll over the inside of the front and back cover in turn, pressing firmly. Be careful not to bend the cover. Insert the photo book pages. Put on photo gloves. Get the photo book pages from the printer. Flip the stack over so page 1 is on the top. Tap the bottom edge of the stack against a clean work surface to straighten the pages. Open the cover spine and insert the pages into the cover. The pages should touch the metal at the back of the spine and should be against the black plastic page top tab. Note: You can bend the covers of the book completely backwards to open the spine. This does not damage the book. Make sure the pages are in the right order and oriented correctly. Package the book. Place the book into the plastic photo book bag to protect it. Make sure the storage instructions on the bag show on the top of the book. Do not cover the instructions on the bag with the sales bar code sticker.